Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to things that I feel guilty about. Jaden and Ephesians. Now, um, I'm reacting to this because Jaden and Ephesians is one of the most liked videos on my channel. So yeah, anyway, let's get right into the video. Excuse me, Father, for I have sinned. Video, I Are you? an obedient child who never stepped out of line or broke rules growing up. I wasn't lying, but I do have things I've secretly carried on my shoulders for a long time and still feel arguably guilty about to this day. This video isn't just for your entertainment. It's going to serve as me clearing my conscience and finally being free from these chains of guilt. Also, don't get your hopes up. None of these stories involve murder. Sorry, I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Growing up, my dad would let us sit in front of the television while we ate dinner. Wow. That would be a special treat for my brother and me because mom wasn't home from work yet and she wouldn't let us watch TV during the week. This is when we were really young, by the way. Don't worry, I'm allowed to eat in front of the TV at least three days a week now. We were eating in front of the TV one night and I wanted to have chips for dessert. Our dinner rules were always eat dinner and then get a little treat or dessert afterwards. And I wanted chips. Everyone's favorite okay. dessert. So my dad got the bag of chips, and normally my parents poured us full, but there wasn't much left, so he just gave me the whole bag and said, don't eat them all. He got two <laughs> full pair of points that day. It was going good so far, eating chips in front of the TV. Okay. This is the height of luxury! I looked down, and I ate all the chips. Dang it! What do I do? My dad gave me one rule. My parents are never going to trust me ever again. They're going to disown me. My life is over. I'm going to be living in a box on the side of the road, and I'll have to search trash cans for chips. I might as well pack my things and get a head start right now. I started to panic, and my little kid brain started racing to think of some sort of way to avoid punishment. A rat! A giant oh rat gosh. the door, slapped the bag out of my hand, ate all the chips, and escaped out the window. And also stole an extra cookie on his way out. <laughs> No reason. So she ate a cookie? Those rats are chips. Now she finished eating early and went into the backyard to play. So what I ended up doing was going, Jack, do you want some chips? And I gave him the empty bag. Then I went over to my dad and said, Dad, I have something to tell you. I'm sorry. Jack ate all the chips. And I went into my room and hid. I really don't think my brother got into any trouble because I didn't Why? know about it, and my dad probably just threw the bag. Away. But since I never got caught or came clean, I've held this guilt about that whole situation ever since. There's layers to it. Not only did I <laughs> lie to my dad the whole okay. situation ever since, there's layers. This is guilt, shame, regret, vanilla. To it. Not only more guilt did I lie to my dad and falsely accuse my brother, but on top of it all, <laughs> Get the I gave baby. Jack's an empty bag of chips. A perfect little regret cherry on the ice cream right. sundae of shame. shame. And I really think that when my dad and brother watch this video, they'll be like, I don't remember this at all. Because I want to say it was like 13 years ago. No. Me feeling guilty even more pointless and stupid because it doesn't even matter and no one cares and I'm the only one suffering from it. This is a pretty effective way to learn a lesson. I've never finished a bag of chips since that day. Oh, One time goodness. I was at recess in second grade playing by myself in the grass. You know, like a freaking loser. No. A group of girls came up to me and said, Hey, we're playing tag and chasing the boys. You should help us. And I was like, well, beep sitting here and getting eaten by ants. So I started running around and chasing the boys with the rest of the kids. It was all normal tag at first, but mm. somehow it started escalating to extreme tag. Extreme as in people started throwing. That's probably the other kids. Rocks. Being a self-conscious child who kids. has no understanding of personal choices, I was like, oh, well, I guess we're doing this now. So I threw a rock and hit this kid in the back of the head, which may I add took some top-notch skill and coordination considering we were both running and he was a good distance away. Oh, snap. Ow! I'm telling. Oh, freak. I watched this kid start running off to tell a teacher, and I knew I had to think of something fast. Oh, and don't tell me I should have just stood there and faced the consequences of my actions. Yeah, no, I know. As a kid, you wouldn't have done that. It's only <laughs> worth it if we're all honest with ourselves here. The first thing I could think of was to go hide in the bathroom, oh. because everyone knows teachers can't bathroom until I heard the recess whistle and went back to class. Obviously the teacher was told what happened. I couldn't have run away from that, so I still got in trouble. But the guilt trip doesn't end there. The teacher told me I wasn't allowed to go to recess tomorrow, which was reasonable. I can own up to that punishment. But she 
also said I needed to write a letter to my parents telling them what I did. I don't know what pushed me to do this because I always did what grown-ups said, but something in my head told me, you're not writing that letter. And so I did. Later that day, the teacher came up to me and asked, did you write the letter? No, snap. Yes. Please don't ask me. Please don't ask me. Anyways, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button. Also, click the bell notification to never miss one of my videos. And maybe even more content like this. Now, this is Green Glow signing out. Bye bye.